Good morning and welcome to Herb Oracle Podcast, botanical divination with herbs, essences, flowers, and trees with your host, Herbal Marie. Let's start the day off pulling some oracle cards and getting a few messages. We can shoot the shiitake in a spiritual way-ish. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll post a pic of the cards at Herb Oracle. Thanks so much for joining me. Here we go. Good morning, y'all. TGI. F yeah. I'm having myself a good morning. An okay morning. You guys, it's you guys, I just I'm so excited to tell you that everything is okay. <laughs> I'm just so excited that everything's like, all right. <laughs> not fabulous, not great, nothing special, nothing good to re really report, but you know what? It's just all right and there ain't no complaining. So it's Friday, I like to do something fun on Fridays, like to hang out with friends and flowers and foraging. And uh, we're gonna pick a pile today cause that seems kind of fun and um, it seems like everybody's listening in to pick a pile. So you're either gonna pick, um, well, I haven't picked the numbers yet. We're gonna pick numbers and so you can kind of find out which pile resonates with you. But of course it's like one, two, three, you know what I'm saying? You could just do that. But yeah, I'm sitting here, what a sweet little scene. I've got three piles in front of me. There is a witch's cauldron on the top of each pile right now. It's just, I love it. I love it, we're gonna slap a number on there. There's a mason jar full of flowers that my mom picked for me, some forget-me-nots and some, I don't know, yellow daisies, I have no idea, and some, uh, <laughs> and some peony leaves um, for the filler, for the backdrop. It, she, my mom is so cute, and she really does a good job putting flower arrangements together. And then I have a steaming littler mason jar, wide mouth, full of throat coat tea and the tea bag from Yogi says the principal ingredient of life is love <sighs> breathe that in for a second the principal ingredient of life is love so we need more love in our heart space we have a full moon tonight um, so the full moon is a good time for you to intend to bring life force energy through your body down into the earth so let as you're feeling that heightened sensitivity with the full moon maybe you got a little extra energy maybe you're feeling a little frisky whatever you want to call it maybe you're feeling a little crazy okay pull that energy through your body and say i take this life force energy this love energy and i bring it down through my body like i am a human antenna and I send it down through my feet into the earth because I love her. So on that note, let's get to it because it is already 10.57. It's almost 11. And I decided to take advantage of the quiet porch time this morning to do a wild edible foraging podcast for Herbal Marie. I was like, dang, before like the neighbors get, get screaming, uh, over there and the other neighbor gets weed whacking and then that dude rem remembers he needs to mow and I mean it gets crazy here on my little street um, so if I don't get up and get my porch time to shoot the shiitake early it ain't gonna happen and uh, I thought to myself I better get an herbal Murray podcast in the books so are you ready to get a number here for the first pile. I'm gonna pick three numbers and then you go with the one that you like the best. So our first number is 73. 73, ooh, okay, we're just going fast here. Two more numbers fell off. Um, so there's our numbers. Our middle pile is number 97. And our last pile is 81. Again, same as last week, these numbers don't really mean shit to me. <laughs> so you gotta really tune into your intuition and see which number resonates with you. 73, 97, 
or 81? So I actually already know which one I'm going with. So it's funny that like, oh my God, I hear my washing machine going crazy. I'm doing a blanket. Maybe I need to check on it so it's not vibrating itself off the platform. Um, <laughs> I know which one resonates with me and I usually like feel like I have like numbers that remind me of people or significant like year numbers. So that's probably the one I'm gonna go with. But you decide if you like the first, second, or third pile, 73, 97, or 81. And I'm gonna go check on the washing machine real quick. 73, 97, or 81. Oh, my intuition was correct. <laughs> Yeah, like it didn't fall off, but it's on the edge. So I got to fix that now. <laughs> oh, and water overflowed everywhere. My basement. Please put my basement on your prayer list if you have one. I think I might throw this blanket out that I was trying to wash. Um, it's just, it's just so hard to wash because it just, the spin cycle just can't hardly handle this heavy, bulky blanket. Like, what are you... What do people do about these big ass blankets? How do you maintain them? <laughs> All right, so 73, 97, 81. Those are our numbers that we're gonna pick from um, and we'll get a message. So you're gonna get, oh my gosh, and we almost forgot to do our affirmations. So this is my Friday? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, see what I'm saying? Nothing's great, but everything's okay. I'm all right. You're going to get a witch's kitchen. You're going to get, let me tell you what you're going to get. You're going to get a witch's kitchen card. You're going to get a dragon butterfly from Enchanted Blossoms. You're going to get a soul trees. So a lot of these decks that we've been hanging out with this week. Soul trees, you're going to get one of those. Then we're going to go tiny. You're going to get a flower whisper by Tina T. Ames. Then you're going to get a botanic whisper. And we'll end with a soul flower. So two, four, six. You're going to get six cards. Six, the number of love, compassion, and harmony. To go with my tea bag quote, the principal ingredient of life is love. So number six, getting us more love in our lives. And um, did you love hanging out with Hawthorne? Did you love the affirmations? Um, I actually put away the Hawthorne cards last night because I'm like, I am so friggin' done with this week. Just gonna put away the cards, but the affirmations are still up on my fridge. Um, I am healing my heart. I rise to challenges and overcome obstacles. Remind yourself of that. Go within, open your inner gateways, connect with the love within, connect with more love. So Hawthorne wanted us to open our hearts and also our minds and intelligently then lead with the heart, but still exercise your mind. Hawthorne wants us to feel protected and, and uh, open up our capacity to love. Hawthorne, such a beautiful herbal ally, wants us to feel inspired, harmonious, and full of hope. So one more time this week, let's do our affirmations and then we'll get the cards for number 73. This affirmation minute is brought to you by our massively important herb of the week, Hawthorne. And I dedicate them all to you, thank you. I am healing my heart. I rise to challenges and overcome obstacles. I open my inner gateways and connect with love within. I expand my mind and intelligently lead with my heart. I feel protected and stimulate my capacity to love. I am inspired, harmonious, and full of hope. I am healing my heart. I rise to challenges and overcome obstacles. I open my inner gateways and connect with love within. I expand my mind and intelligently lead with my heart. I feel protected 
and stimulate my capacity to love. I am inspired, harmonious, and full of hope. So be it. So I really hope we gave Hawthorne enough attention this week. Um, I really appreciate that energy coming through. All right, now let's get hocused, hocused, focus, hocus, pocus, focus, hocus, pocus, focus. So you had a choice between three numbers, 73, 97, and 81. Pick a pile. If you pick number 73, here are your herbs, here are your flowers, here are your trees, here are your essences, here's your message. All right, let's start out with um, the witch's kitchen. I sort of rearranged the cards so they, we got like two rows of them now instead of like one really long line. Um, here is your witch's kitchen. You got nutmeg. You got nutmeg, y'all. If you pick number 73, you got nutmeg, and that is pretty awesome because your message with nutmeg is luck. So good. If you picked number 73, here you go. Your first herbal gift is luck. Um, whether that means that you've got luck coming your way, you're feeling lucky, you're tapping into the energy, maybe you've been tapping into the energy. You kind of just feel like, yeah, you know what? luck is on my side and I am lucky and I feel lucky and I attract luck to me. Ugh. All right. <laughs> let's let's get a couple more messages here. What are you feeling lucky about? What are you going to have some good luck with? I'm 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 putting good on it. It just says luck, okay? But I'm saying good. Good luck. We can look in the book if you want a little more if we don't get enough clarity with your dragon butterfly and your soul tree, but uh, I think we will. So let's get that dragon butterfly. You got Daisy with innocence. So it's sort of like maybe your, your innocent energy, your childlike energy, your innocence is just putting you at the right place at the right time or just putting you in a good place of receiving. Like a little kid, like, I'm lucky, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you got the peacock butterfly and this is kind of brown which is interesting because like it sort of like matches the nutmeg it's got like this brownish reddish thing going to it and your soul tree is mystery Ooh, and I love this so much because the daisy that you have in this dragon butterfly enchanted blossoms card has it's like whitish but like lavenderish in the center and the mystery tree is in, it's a dark purple night and the moon is growing in the sky. So this is actually a really type of like, I feel like you're kind of like in the sink and the flow of life because you realize that like, you know, it's like you can live in two worlds at once, whether that's duality or just more like you can have like childlike enthusiasm at the same time honoring the mysteries of existence that maybe you don't know everything, but it's okay. You don't need to know everything because you're guided, you're happy, you're intuitive, you're lucky, like good things come to you, you're having fun in life, you're open to more but yet at the same time, you're just enjoying the now moment with this innocent peacock butterfly on the sweet little daisy. All right, I'm just gonna pull all the cards so we can kind of see collectively what your message is. Your flower whisper says, the flower doesn't dream of the bee. It blossoms and then the bee comes. So that's a really good quote to go along with luck, you know, cause it's like, well, what makes one person be lucky and one person be unlucky. Well, a lot of it is your belief system. Like, do you believe that you're lucky or do you believe that you're unlucky? Because that makes a difference. Like, if you believe you can, you can. If you believe you can't, well, you probably can't. Your belief system, when it comes to whether you feel lucky or you feel like you have luck in your life, really dictates a lot of the energy that's coming towards you and your experience and what you expect. You don't need to go out looking for luck. 
you just need to feel lucky and then the luck comes. So the flower doesn't dream of the bee, it just blossoms like a flower does and then the bee comes. So if you stay in this innocent, open state, you're connected to this innocent expectation that good things come to you and you know you you deserve beautiful things and you're lucky and everything works out and you're excited for you know learning more the mystery doesn't scare you it and you know you're excited for it you are then in a very open and receiving mode so if you just get into that feeling then like the flower you bring in the bee you bring in the luck now your flower essence from botanic whispers holy smokes it's nutmeg so you got two nutmegs you got the witch's kitchen nutmeg and you got nutmeg as an essential oil okay that is fun to me that's like profound like that is hilarious um do you have nutmeg i would definitely get some simmering on the stove get essential oil of nutmeg smells so freaking good in a room spray so if you can get some nutmeg in your life um maybe make some banana bread and put in a little nutmeg you don't need a whole lot um and if you get some nutmeg essential oil put it in your diffuser or just in a spray bottle and spritz spritz maybe put it in a perfume blend look into that but you got two nutmegs, so I think you should do something with nutmeg. In this, in the second card, um, it has the words conquer, trade, and fashionable. Conquer, trade, and fashionable, and like those are supposed to be the positive words with this card, and the negative, more based words are hallucinations, torture, and greed. So it's kind of a darker card like like she's a beautiful but very mysterious woman um she's holding a nutmeg she's her hands are like dyed red maybe from holding the nutmeg she's got these red kind of uh inverted triangle like with her red eye shadow underneath her eyes her hair is made of nutmeg shells and she's wearing a black seek mm, not sequins those are beads black beaded um with like tank top straps but it's very fancy she's wearing a black fancy dress i conquer my demons by offering them love and acceptance when i deny my shadow i become the one that is conquered <laughs> all right so this nutmeg just took your your reading for a little bit of a twist with that mystery card. So it's like I was saying that within your innocence you are not afraid of the mystery. But if at some point you became scared of the mystery, you became scared of your shadow side, you, you became very aware of your, quote, demons, okay? Or you're afraid of the dark. You're afraid of what lies in the dark night in the mystery how do you get over that you offer your demons your fears love and acceptance you say i accept you i see you and i love you i see that you are there i'm aware of you and i send you love and i accept you and i love you now, when you try to deny that you even have a shadow side or you're like, I'm not afraid of nothing, well, you become the one that is conquered, okay? Then your fears someday might overtake you. They might overtake your innocence and then you're not gonna feel so lucky anymore. Now, because this really did take a, a, a turn in a nutmeg world, I wanna just open up the book from Witch's Kitchen and read you the nutmeg spell. A stroke of luck, I am here today. Good fortune favors you, hooray. Hold me when you wish to win. Now take a chance, your luck is in. This magic has worked with harm to none. So mote it be, there it is done. So this nutmeg has 
a message from your kitchen that your luck will improve and if you want to speed that along like I said connect with nutmeg in one way or the other maybe make a body butter or a lip butter put a tiny bit of nutmeg in it um, you can infuse an if you get a real nutmeg you can you can crush up some nutmeg seeds and cover it with oil and make your own infused oil that's one way to use nutmeg. You could wear a nutmeg necklace to ward off evil spirits. So if you feel like you are in your life um, connecting with lower density entities or evil spirits, um, you could wear some nutmeg to ward off evil spirits and um, your luck is going to improve. So keep on flowering like the flower does right keep on being innocent keep on being who you are allow the good luck to find you and maybe connect with nutmeg as a charm to bring in more favorable outcomes in your life and legal matters on your travels you can add a little nutmeg to your beverages to enhance visions during meditation or rub a little nutmeg oil like the kind you make that you diffuse or the kind that you infuse in a base oil or dilute the essential oil rub a little bit on your temples to open up your natural clairvoyant abilities so you could anoint some green candles with nutmeg essential oil during money spells that you that you cast and help let nutmeg help draw prosperity into your household if you're a gambler if you're going gambling carry a whole nutmeg seed um, with you in your pocket or your purse to bring you all the luck you need to be a winner there's no illusion for lady luck is on your side as you roll that dice knowing that today you cannot lose so today and that's this lady in the nutmeg essential oil card she looks like she is at the casino absolutely that's the perfect casino outfit <laughs> She could be going to the opera or she could be like selling illegal liquor in a basement um, a place where you would party at in the 1920s. That's how she looks. Okay, so your luck is getting ready to improve. Luck is on your side. If you're tackling any um, darkness, shadow, demons, mystery, call on nutmeg to protect you. Um, call on daisy to keep you innocent um, and call on the luck of the universe to have your side now i'm really curious like really what your soul flower is so nutmeg is saying your luck is going to improve daisy came in with this message of innocence wait hold on before i flip over your soul flower daisy came in with innocence which is actually the card we're gonna do next week and it asks how can i add a childlike innocence to my daily life so you really don't need to try to be lucky you just need to be lucky and i think i think the childlike innocence is a, a great way to do that okay your soul flower is stargazer lily with a message of surrender and stargazer lily is asking you to surrender to the unconditional love that the universe has flowing toward you. Let down the barriers surrounding your heart and surrender unloving thoughts about yourself to allow yourself to receive. You are always enough. So Stargazer Lily is saying, yeah, that lucky energy, that change of luck, that good stuff, the bee wants to come to the flower. So as you being the flower, you need to surrender and open and let the bee in. Let the luck in. Let the, the childlike innocence energy into you. And that is going to be the way that you conquer um, your dark side or the shadow or the bad luck whatever you want to call it. It's going to be the sweet, beautiful, innocent daisy energy. And the flower doesn't dream of the bee. It blossoms and then the bee comes. On that card, that looks like a daisy too. So you got daisies and stargazer lily 
two nutmegs and the dark purple mystery tea tree to kind of just say hey surrender to what to what is going on acknowledge the mystery acknowledge your shadow side acknowledge the darkness acknowledge your fears right send them love send everything love and then just get into that innocent state of open receiving so that you can have good luck you're having good luck today so this is a great weekend for you number 73 the first pile for you to just surrender to this energy know that you are worthy know that you are always enough and allow yourself to receive the good luck coming your way dang two nutmegs that was pretty cool now listen everybody can't be expecting to get doubles today that would be a little weird okay that would be produce produce awesome but pretty strange <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I mean, I I love picking cards though um, for these piles because it really puts me like, you know, I try to sit there and shuffle and really focus my intentions to bring in the best messages. And, you know, sometimes I doubt and question like, was that the right card? And it's like, hey, that's the right card. But it's always such a surprise for me because I don't peek at any of these cards. I want to be... I want to be enchanted and surprised just like you, or if they don't work out, then I will be, you know, genuinely disappointed. But I have yet to be disappointed anytime I've ever done one of these pick a piles. And I'm just kind of wowed by the magic and synchronicities. Like it is kind of crazy at times that I'm like, how the actual F, TGIF y'all, how the actual F does that work? Right? And then all you can do is say, well, it's pretty pretty magical. It's magic. I am magic. All right, 97. If you pick the second middle pile, which is number 97, here is your message. Your witch's kitchen herb that you got here with this, <laughs> such a, the back on these cards are so cool. It's like this steaming, steaming cauldron with the pentagram on it. You got time yeah baby you got time we just hung out with time i'm still i'm still hanging out with time here right beside me ever so diligently not trying to get that podcast done for herbal marie but your first message is one of courage so you might want to go back and listen to the herb of the week podcast time that we just did uh not too long ago was that just last week or the week before i can't even remember you're getting a message of time no of courage maybe you need more time i don't know maybe it's time to have courage all right so what do you need to have courage about your dragon butterfly is the african swallowtail and it has a message of persistence it's on a flower called euphorbia right it reminds you of euphoria so you're working towards something that you're gonna really like and enjoy but you have to have the courage. You have to stick with it. You must stay persistent. Do not give up. I repeat, do not give up. You got to keep on going. You got to keep on going with whatever it is that you're working towards. Your soul tree is new growth. It kind of looked, it was reversed, but I'm going to flip it around just for the sake of, you know, new growth although you know damn it i hate it whenever like i say i'm gonna switch a card around and then inside me like it's like no it was supposed to be reversed so it's supposed to be reversed because you kind of are at that point where you're not seeing the new growth you're feeling like things have stagnated you're not seeing much return you're like what is the freaking point maybe i should just quit I don't know if this is even what I want to do. I thought I'd be further along by now. Like whatever, the doubt has creeped in. And the new growth tree is saying, um, you might not see, it's like a seed that you plant. And it's like, you're looking at the soil, you're looking at the puny little sprout and you're saying, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why aren't you growing? But actually what you're not seeing is underground these massive roots. 
this massive energy of anchoring in your dream seeds. So it's like your dream seeds that you planted, they are vibrant and well. You just haven't seen the growth on top of the soil because so much energy has been growing underneath the ground of your life so that whenever it finally does blossom out and bloom out, it, it is solid, it is stable. Your projects aren't going to collapse in the first storm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's got a serious root system, an unshakable unshakable anchorage so courage persistence the new growth it may have it you might be doubting it but it's actually like behind the scenes underground energetically but it's like these cards are saying don't give up the african swallowtail on the euphorbia flower is saying keep going be persistent time is saying have courage keep going 97 9 plus 7 16 7 like number seven it's like this is your path this is your commitment you cannot give up okay let's see what your flower whisper says be gentle with yourself you are so worthy so like i said that doubt creeps in and you get overly critical with your projects with yourself Maybe I don't deserve success. Maybe I just can't ever do anything that works out. Maybe this was a stupid idea. Whatever that, whatever those negative things are, are um, saying to you in your head, you need to be like, whoa, hold up. That is way too harsh. I don't want to. I don't want to make myself feel like that. I don't want to think like that. I need to be gentle with myself. I need to be kind and sweet to myself and supportive and encouraging because I am so worthy. I deserve success. I deserve euphoria. I deserve to know that I can keep following my dreams and my ideas. Okay, let's see what the essential oil is. You got Elang Elang. So yeah, you are so worthy and the and the negative attributes of this Elang Elang card is self-depreciation and negativity. So yeah, the doubt has crept in on your path. You're being way too freaking rude with yourself. You're not appreciating yourself when in actuality, you are a beauty. You are a unique soul. You are rare. There is no one else like you. And and ylang ylang has a big keyword of attraction so it's like you have to say i am attractive and i attract the things in my life that i want so you gotta know that what you want is coming towards you but you gotta keep yourself in line keep yourself in line meaning be nice to yourself be gentle with yourself, believe in yourself, support yourself, encourage yourself, feed your courage that keeps you on your path, stay persistent, know that you are worthy, and know that you are expanding and growing. What I attract to myself vibrates at the same frequency as how I see myself. I choose to see my unique beauty. So maybe the reason you're not seeing your new growth or your project or whatever it is that you've been wanting, the reason it might be delayed is because of how you're seeing yourself. You're not seeing yourself as worthy. You're not seeing the beauty that you are. You're being way too critical and it is blocking. It is blocking what wants to come to you, what you want. It's like you want it and then you block it with your negativity. You want it, but you block it with your insecurity. Oh, you definitely want it 
and it's being attracted to you to you to a certain point because it can only be attracted to you to the extent of that which you are it so the affirmation is what i attract to myself vibrates at the same frequency as how i see myself so if you see yourself as a pile of worthless shit then guess what you attract to yourself if you see yourself as a beautiful important worthy queen <laughs> you will attract all the queenly things to you right it's like you got if you see yourself as a positive, lighted soul, worthy of good experiences and new expansion and, the, and, and, and successful, right? If you want success, then be success. If you want success, feel success because you have to be a vibrational match. You have to be on the same frequency and everything that's coming to you is on the same frequency. So th like, which really sucks for me, okay? Because when I go down in my basement and I see, I see the just insanity <laughs> going on in the basement, I'm like, wow, I'm crazy. I'm, I, ha I must be crazy because look what I have attracted, you know? Like that sucks, but it's a good indicator. So look what's going on in your life. And if the things in your life are not exactly the way you want them or they're not coming to you like you thought that they would, check yourself and see where your frequency is and see where your thoughts are and are you thinking positive thoughts are you being gentle with yourself are you being supportive or are you saying to yourself you're not good enough you're not worthy you're stupid and nobody wants to support your dreams and nobody wants to be a like you have to almost take a step back maybe five steps back from yourself observe yourself take notes be like oh my god there i go thinking that again that is so negative but i see myself thinking it and i'm glad i see it because i know that when i think that negative thought that self-depreciation negativity then i'm vibrating at a low frequency so it is your this is your this is your nudge notion reminder call to to fix to fix it <laughs> all right let's see what flower you got you got chickweed uh, message of tolerance so chickweed is tough and knows her power she knows how to shine despite challenges and through tough circumstances when you need to make a difficult decision chickweed chickweed will help strengthen your self-confidence and your understanding so you can tap into your own inner wisdom with grace and compassion so chickweed is coming in with time okay time is very courageous and strong and brave and knows his self-worth and chickweed too is very tough and knows her power so it's like you got to learn how to shine despite your challenges despite your tough circumstances despite your basement <laughs> right like me i i make the best of my life and and i'm doing all right for my circumstances i really am but we could all i didn't pick this pile i actually picked the next pile but this pile is really speaking to me now because we need to strengthen our self-confidence we need to build ourselves up instead of taking ourselves down and that might be another reason why the new growth was reversed because we need we haven't been investing in our self-worth we haven't been building our self-esteem we've neglected our self-love and it has stunted our growth and it has stunted um, what we're attracting to us so be brave be courageous be brave enough to say to yourself I love myself and I am worthy of all the good things and I'm gonna be gentle with myself now because life is hard enough on me that like you know I don't need to be hard on me too and truly life has been hard on you because you're hard on you but without going there again just know that you can change your frequency 
And when you change your frequency, then you change the things, people, and circumstances that are attracted to you through your magnetism, through your frequency, through your vibration. So if you don't like your life, then change your vibe. Okay, change your thoughts, change the way you're looking at things, improve your perspective, increase your vibration, and get your frequency working for you. So you got to be tough. And that's why you got time and chickweed because you you might have to really tap and and the euphorbia African swallowtail with persistence. Like you may find yourself if you pick the second pile number 97, you may find yourself in a place where you don't really like what you've manifested. So you're going to have to be tough, courageous, persistent and gentle while you work yourself out of this low vibe bullshit <laughs> and all the while elang elang and that's a beautiful perfume too elang is lang is saying please appreciate yourself please know that you're beautiful you are a unique beautiful soul and the more you focus on that the more you focus on your worthiness the more you'll be able to attract to you the things that are a good vibrational match. And that will be beautiful, exquisite new growth. And once you figure this out and start really figuring out how it works and how it's not going to take a whole, whole lot to get your energy shifted in a different direction, it's going to be glorious. Like euphoria when you realize, yeah, I created this mess with my energy, but that's okay. Because if I created the mess, I can create the solution and I can create beauty. I can create ugly or I can create beautiful things. So it's just all a matter of creating differently. Okay, yeah. Creating differently, isn't that the flippity flop in truth? Oh, so maybe that middle pile was my pile. Okay, we're on the last pile now, and I thought this was gonna be my pile, but I don't know, maybe, maybe, uh, what was that? Whatever number that last one was, 97. Maybe 97 was my pile, but I thought it was 81, um, cause I think that both my ex-husband and my sister were born in 1981, so it's kind of, just resonated eight plus one is a nine which means completion done with that crazy shit kind of with both of them in a way you know um oh my god my sister's just nuts hey if if she's nuts and i'm nuts i mean that makes sense <laughs> but i mean it's just crazy how someone can make so many poor life choices i just I just, I, I guess I, it's not really my place to go there about her, but it's like of the two people in the world, my sister and my ex-husband both do a really, really good job at driving me crazy and annoying me and like just making me want to shake them. Like what? You are nuts. Like, okay, even my ex-husband say he's he texts me like it's like 720. Like it's like a quarter after seven. He's sending me all these pictures of plants. What's this? What's that? Should I pull this out? Is this a weed? Now you would think I would enjoy that, right? And I kind of do, right? But where the hell was his interest in plants the 13 motherfucking years we were married? Do you feel me on this? Like, uh, he's like, what should I, he's like, I'm not sure what I should do with this garden bed. And I'm thinking, why don't you do with it the same thing you did with the garden beds here the last decade? Nothing. <laughs> so I did not engage. I did not say that to him. I answered most of his questions and then I turned my phone off and walked away from it, you know, and went back to bed pretty much. Like, I'm like, I have to go back and lay down and meditate and reset. But isn't it hilarious? It's like, uh... I didn't see you giving a damn about a plant and at any point when you lived here with me while we were married. So forgive me if I need you to, to fuck off right now. 
<laughs> Anyways, that's why I picked 81 because this beautiful soul that has taught me so many lessons and continues to teach me so many lessons, what, I think that's the year he was born. So anyways, let's see what the message is for the third pile, number 81. If you wanted 81, <laughs> here's our message. Our witch's kitchen cauldron herb is dandelion with a message of wishes. So <laughs> wish in one hand and shit in the other. Okay. Dandelion wishes. Um, yeah, that's, I love that it has wishes because it's like dandelion. You can look at them as weeds or you can look at them as nature's wishes, nature's medicine. There's a bottle of dandelion wine here. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> I've been drinking loads of roasted dandelion root tea. I love it. I love dandelions. Um, so yeah, do you pull out the dandelions or do you love them? It's up to you. What are you wishing for? Whatever you're thinking about, you know, some wishes are good. And even if you don't want stuff, you know, like I really need to really stop myself every time I'm being annoyed and pissed and resentful because essentially I'm making more wishes for things I don't want. So kind of spinning off from our last pile there with that, you know, watch out what you're focusing your energy on. Every word you speak is a spell. Every thought you think is an intention. So it's like, are you wishing for things that you like or are you unknowingly, ignorantly wishing for things that you're not going to like? Are our enchanted blossoms dragon butterfly is the Brazilian swallowtail on an allium flower. And it has a message of prosperity. Good. Let's wish for prosperity. Let's wish for success and abundance and being able to do the things we want to do when we want to do them. Let's w make our wishes count. Let's really wish for some good shit. Our soul tree is magic and it is reversed too, which tells me we have not been using our magic properly or at all. Well, properly, right? That's what I'm saying. It's like every word you speak is a spell. Your words are powerful. Your thoughts are fuel for what you want and what you don't want. So it just seems like this weekend with the energy of the full moon, Speak it and it is. Do you want do you want a ex-husband that annoys you or one that you know you're on good terms with? Now he was here yesterday trying to fix the dryer. Okay, he finally got the part. Well, the part has been here for like over a week. He finally decided that yesterday was the day that he would come and fix it. Doesn't it catch on fire? <laughs> Doesn't the dryer catch on fire right inside he put it out real quick stunk though uh so the dryer is officially dead officially it is not safe to continue and that i felt like in itself was a good lesson it's like sometimes you gotta just know when to complete and end things so this is number 81 8 plus 1 equals 9 number of completion right full moon tonight things this phase is ending this cycle is ending this this ignorance is over now. We are well aware that we have magic in our veins. We are well aware that the words we speak are spells. Your words are your wand, okay? So it's like start a new beginning now that this, this lack of maybe of prosperity, you don't need to wish anymore. Now you're gonna manifest prosperity. You're gonna start to use your magic to make all your wishes come true. And prosperity will be a reality for you. Your flower whisper said, good things take time. So invest in yourself, invest in your magic, invest in your wishes, invest in your words. And yeah, overnight, it's not gonna be like, oh, today I was loose with my words and intentions, but tomorrow I got everything a okay no it's gonna take a time to transition into 
using your magic properly, but that's okay because it's gonna be worth it. Prosperity sometimes takes time. You gotta put in the work, you gotta put in the energy. You gotta clean it up. Our essence, our essential oil is lemongrass with a message of forgiveness, balance, and ward. So negatively, it could be about a back, be about a backstabber or vulnerability, okay? Now, oh my God, this is my pile. Listen to this. I do not lower myself to the level of slithering snakes, even though Monday, I was literally on the ground in my swimsuit on a picnic blanket with a slithering snake. It really was a messenger for me. When I look back, I mean, that snake was a gift from the universe saying, bitch, you are literally vibing at the level of slithering snakes. Pick yourself up and manifest better okay so i do not lower myself to the level of slithering snakes but rather reinforce my warding against them with self-love and forgiveness so last night just to go off on a little bit of a tangent i did a live stream on my youtube channel sadie marie cherico please come over and say hi I pulled some crystal stones um, for a few people and then when I was done with my video, when I was done with my broadcast, I pulled myself two cards and both of them wanted to talk about how my lack of self-love was lowering my immune system. And now this card too is saying if your self-love was higher, and you weren't lowering yourself with being unforgiving, right? Or resentfulness or, or you know, whatever, whatever makes you feel vulnerable in life because you feel like you were a victim, right? That is lowering our frequency. And then, yeah, we're letting in stuff that we don't want. So it's like, how do you get the snakes to leave you alone? Well, you have to vibe higher than the snakes. You have to ward, you have to protect and ward, use your magic, reinforce your warding against them with self-love and forgiveness. So that snake was showing itself to me to say, you need to love yourself more and you need to forgive yourself and you need to forgive others and 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 forgive others others for everything forgive everyone for everything the list is long y'all and people keep adding to this list <laughs> so i am going to be a forgiveness master by the end of this life because i have gotten so much practice so lemongrass is saying yes forgiveness will help balance your energy it will help ward against the slithering snakes but you got to do your job of loving yourself and you got to do your forgiveness practice to, per, to ward against them and protect yourself. Okay, you have to know that your energy is magic and you can make it work for you or against you. You can use it the way you want. So make a wish right here and right now. Yes for prosperity, but also yes for balance yes for warding against the things that you don't want in your life and use your magic use your self-love use the power of forgiveness to manifest th these things so let's see what our flower is and this does take time right good things take time and talk about another protective warding plant it is nettle so yep nettle Nettle is all about transformation. So yes, like I said, it's not like tomorrow you're gonna um, wake up and be the white witch who is magically protected from everything of a lower vibration because bam, you just floated into 
this high vibe frequency. It does take time, but that can be your transformation if you wish it to be. If you say it is, it will be. So if you want to change and you want to vibe higher and you want prosperity and you want magic in your life and you want to ward against all the slithering snakes in your yard, in your life, in your relationships and everything, right? You don't want to be a match to that anymore. This is a transformation that you are fully capable of. So Nettle says, wake up, wake up. Nettle helps you transform foggy thinking so that you can respond to prickly or heated situations by speaking up for yourself. So that you can be in alignment with your own truth. And you can do all this without harboring resentment or attachments that leave you feeling tired, congested, and irritated. Because when you feel tired, congested, and irritated, and full of resentment, your vibe is so low. You don't feel like making magic. You don't feel magical. You don't feel prosperous. You just feel like going, laying down, taking a nap. But you're not gonna be able to rest because there'll be a slithering motherfucking snake in the grass, right? <laughs> so Nettle is saying, wake up. Enough already. Enough being asleep. Enough being sluggish. Enough being lazy in your thoughts. Enough with harboring resentment, okay? Because this unforgiveness is poisoning your body and making you vulnerable right? You think, you think it serves you to stay resentful and I'm not going to forget what you did to me, but that actually lowers your vibration and makes you vulnerable and makes you tired and makes you irritated and resentful. And then, yeah, you're a vibrational match to snakes. Oh, so what's the solution? Clarity being awake, loving yourself, making intentions to balance your energy, increase your frequency, clean up your vibration, start being a energetic match to the good things, to the prosperity. Start waking up to the magic that you have within you, that you are capable of, that will serve you. And make sure every moment of every single day, you're making every single wish count. And you're focusing and energetically manifesting the things that you want. Mm. And so it is. Yeah, leave it to Nettle to give you the ultimate wake-up call. But seriously, a snake in the grass also, too, is a really good wake-up call. So I don't know, like, if I had to pick, mm, stink getting stung by Nettle or the snake in the grass, I'd probably go with the Nettle at this point. But hey, we, we get what we need to help us wake up, um, and that's good. It's a good thing, you guys. So bless everything, forgive everyone, and really, I think all three messages really want us to be very aware and observant where our energy is, tweak it where we need to, and start adding in the magical good stuff more and more every day. Love, appreciation, forgiveness, compassion, positivity, prosperity. I mean, make yourself an energetic match to it. So you can start bringing to you, just like the flower brings the bee with its scent. It don't go out looking for the bee. It blooms and it brings in the bee. All right, so this weekend, make intentions to do your blooming, do your pruning, do your internal weeding, okay? Get your inner garden 
the way you want it to be and watch all the good stuff come and find you. On that note, you guys, have an incredible, beautiful weekend. I love you so much. Thanks for hanging out all week here at Ho. And yeah, I'm totally looking forward to seeing you again so soon. Mm. Much love, y'all. Much love. Be it. Be the love. Be the love, y'all. <laughs>